Boys just to serve. Play. There you go, great approach shot. All wedged in the, the Kia sign and a positive start for a player that's got nothing to lose in this match. And that's so it will be interesting to see how he goes about it. Does he play a big, big game? Oh. I did that match. He beat uh, Davidovic for Keener in straight sets. And we know how flamboyant the Spaniard can be. Davidovic uh, for Keener. Uh, he was absolutely bamboozled by the consistency of Borges. His weight off the ground. Oh. The weight of shot and his patience and uh, durability. What is, what is, what is. It was a different level against Dimitrov. 17, 15. Good early signs. It's always it's always important to come out and try and find your rhythm on a big court like this. Not as much experience. You can you can not you can sort of not find your identity early in a match. You know, for Grigor playing on this footprint big footprint of this court is, is comfortable for what is it's not as not as comfortable early you'd like a few free points he doesn't possess a big serve that's a worrying concern for me in this match with Grigor because he'll have to work hard for his service games Lens for service. you're almost engaged in every point The Portuguese won three challenger titles in 2023 that saw him rise to well inside the top 100. tight situation back of the court to hold and a real nerve settler in the opening that's game him. yeah it is and that's what you know you, you would like to get on the board in the in the most positive fashion that was you saw from Dimitrov he will he will look to come in a lot came in virtually a hundred percent of the time two nights ago whenever he was able to get Kokonakis on the run What's your prediction of the prediction? Oh, look, it's heavily favoured. I mean, really, if you're looking at it with a the predictor, seven. so it's heavily favoured in the. I'm thinking it's a 95 5. Wow. Let's see. It's like a quiz, isn't it? Ooh, not too far away. Okay. 15 left. One thing that Grigor did do well and has done well since he's landed in Australia is served well. First serve percentage has been high, mid 60s. He Stand served, and not, not only the percentages of his location, the location of ball, and so he's been able to get access to a lot of free points, especially on the big points. There's Jamie Delgado, Grigor's coach. Oh. 
Continuăm. First serves in that game, that it was 206. Good loose enough for one all. Different environment for Dimitrov as well, because two nights ago it was, you know, it was, it was quite a hostile environment. Normally he's got he's got a lot of um, Bulgarian support everywhere around the world. It was it, it was you know it was a very hostile environment in there, John Kane Arena, in, in a good way. But today he'll feel a bit more love in the house. I'll appreciate some of his shot making too, I think. Take your seat, please, behind the players. First seat available, thank you. Borges <laughs> only won the solid two match at Grand Slam level last year. John Isner five sets at Roland Garros before losing comfortably to Diego Schwartzman, who we know is a very good clay quarter. And if you're Borges, initially all you're doing is trying to settle in and play your game. So that's 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 option one. That's the first option you want to take is just try and settle into your style of play. Well, when there's the opportunity there to be aggressive on the ball, we're looking for him to actually to do that. To not allow Grigor, who generally likes to take control of the baseline and move you around and make it physical to... Invitation taken by Grigor Dimitrov. It's his favourite shot, that Don't one. Deal. Especially when he can get set. Good use of the slice. And then still on the backhand side of the court, he only needs to take one step across. Applying the early pressure on Borges in the third game. There's uh, Rui Machado, former tour player, reached a career high 59 and retired in the 2019. Hugo Anoa is the other coach of uh, Nuno Borges. Again, Borges. That's a, a solid hold after being under pressure at 30 all. Borges leads 2-1. It looks like he's brought a pretty relaxed vibe to this third round match. Remember, he's never been as deep in a Grand Slam. Manuel Absolu from France, the chair umpire, on the phone. For what? I don't quite know. Couldn't pick up anything. Towels required. I'd say they're a pretty good design this year. 
And there is a great shot across Key Arena to John Kane with the MCG in the background. The fans can wander around. I must say, Rog, today, though, the ground pass fans struggling to get a seat on some of the, the boutique courts. Because it is a Saturday in Melbourne. There's great demand for these type of viewing courts and this quality of player. Man that's been to the semi-finals of the Grand Slam at different tournaments before and we know he's been a heartbeat away from some of the best of all time. He serves at 1-2 in the opening set. He's almost playing like a, a man that knows this may be his last opportunity. Grigor? Yeah. This year, perhaps. The changing of the go or the beginning of. 2.16 down the tee. That's his fastest so far. I think as long as he's health, healthy, he's athletically very capable. I don't think his athleticism is going to going to leave him. So if he's healthy, feeling good, he's got a he has a game that uh, that can move with the times. There's a lot of variety in his game. Fourteen, fifteen. come to Australia, you get here early, you go to Brisbane, you win Brisbane, playing extremely well, playing a high brand of ten tennis, and you jump into the Australian Open here, and and he's continued that. spot superbly this is more about the movement than anything else about to explode and move and then hold on two games on struggled in this first round Grigor was a set and a breakdown and was really sort of out of sorts it was a, it was a different Grigor Dimitrov that we saw from Brisbane but he was able to turn that around and just Roll up his sleeves and get through that one. And then played impressively for the first couple of sets against the Nazi Gokonakis. And just weathered a little storm in the third and got through in four. Good opening here from Borges. What happens in these scenarios is. If he forces, you've seen a lot of Grigor Dimitrov. So you've got a lot of intel because you watched him play. You would have seen him in some big matches. For Grigor, he's never really, wouldn't have seen too much. So they'll, this will be Grigor on the court. They would have had a look at a bit of vision, but working things out, just sort of working what, where the, what ball goes where. Just the placement depth. 13, 15. Oh, it's, it's all pretty heavy. That forehand's actually heavier than you than you think. It looks, and that's what Grigor at the moment has struggled with it a couple of times. A to read it, but also it's got some weight behind it.
certainly was a career best win for Borges 14, 15. in the previous round. And there's a, both their forehands, and you can see they're pretty heavy, slightly in favour of the underdog. Comfortable hold. Games on serve and Borges leading by three games to two open set. Leads three games to two. Interesting start to this third round match. Games on serve. Dimitrov has had a couple of half chances on the Borges serve. And the 13th seed, the longest active streak he's got of consecutive Grand Slam men's singles appearances, making his 52nd major appearance here at Melbourne Park. Every tournament since 2011 shows his great durability. 15 the joint seventh longest streak in Grand Slam men's singles history in the open era. acceptable <laughs> in, here in Australia when the ball goes into the crowd you you know you, there's so much pressure on the person to take it because they know that they've got this the expectations <laughs> that's exactly right that's a big F fail players because it was it's one of the hottest days here 15. today for the players and when the sun broke through out from out of the clouds we had a cloudy morning it, it was it was brutal on on court so this is about as good as it gets warmth in the air bit of humidity but they're out of the sun oh, that's easy pickings Miss hit, return of serve, and just set up and nice in nice sign for Dimitrov. Played some great tennis in Brisbane. His form against Holger Rune. In fact, the only set he dropped was in the first round v Andy Murray. Again, Dimitrov. Three games off. That is serious drone action. A long way above Key Arena. Plenty of great pockets to discover it to Melbourne Park. And Borges has done a really good job serving at three all first set. Doing a good job of winning that 
the opening point on serve, which is crucial. You're playing real quality players. Just to get ahead of the count on your serve, get a bit of comfort. Oh. You never really feel comfortable on the court. But he's got into a Thank you, good rhythm. Clean for the winner, 40 love. Great depth on the forehand, opened up the court. Bidding for his first top 20 win in Grand Slam play, Uno Borges. Best result came in the last round over Davidovich for Keenum. Cleaned him up in straight sets at court three. You know what the Spaniard can produce at his best, so it was an outstanding Again, performance contest. and result. And he holds with a loss of just one point and leads 4 3. First set. And from memory, he did wear the yellow shorts in that match as well. Yeah, well, he'll, they'll, they'll, they'll get kitted out, generally wearing the same kit. If you've got a, if you've got a good deal, good sponsorship deal, which he may have. sport to witness in this neck of the woods Amy Park just opposite to Melbourne Park MCG in the background as well the other side that won't uh, concern Grigor Dimitrov too much he's serving with new balls at 3-4 games on serve in the opening set So you, two nights ago, you're, you're getting ready to, to take on an Australian. You're walking out onto a big arena. The alert, the Grigor's alertness would have been at its absolute, absolute heightened position. And he was sharp and it was fast and everything was fast twitch. You could see it was just jumping out of his body. Today, right now, it's not quite that same level. He's still tracking okay, but it's not the same. Shot. You could see it coming if you've watched any any highlights of the Bulgarian. There will be this over and over where he's out wide. He, it's almost a slap shot, and you've got to be hanging on to the cross court. Great shot. Oh. 
Kind of net quarter on that occasion to Dimitrov. So if I go just go back to when I was talking about the alertness and the what was coming out of the body of, or the side of Grigor's on Grigor's side of the court. So every every second day that you turn up to play, it's just a different environment. So you've got to continually, you've got to have that ability to con, to actually put yourself in that state. It's a real it's a real art that you've got to learn as a player. Sometimes you'll be, the crowd will take you somewhere and then other times the crowd will be, it'll be a, it'll be a change of environment and it's up to you to actually have the push. Oh. to apply some pressure on a second serve. Both first serve percentages of either player hovering around that 55% mark. First delivery really important for the Bulgarian. Ten of eleven points one on the first serve. Two or eight. Hit the spot. Or ace. Number three, four games all. and it's four games all. The server has dominated the first set so far. New racket. Yeah, with new balls, just we're one game into the new balls. Surprised he didn't change. Uh, sometimes, sometimes he would hold and then just change in the following game. So. for Dimitrov to press here this opening point yep went for it has already worked out that those second serves might go wide to the forehand side hasn't quite found his range yet on this court and again I mean, just a couple of unforced errors for Borges, this is this is gold mm -hmm. because you've got you're not being engaged in a moment where it's, it's heightened for all in the first. Just been steady as you go by the Portuguese. Three game points. Again, Borges. Fifth ace. Holding to love and now applying some pressure on the 13th seed who will serve to stay in the first set. Good start. A few pauses, you come out. Big match, match of his life, really. And you're sitting down after nine games, you're on serve. You, you would have taken that.
time. Late Saturday afternoon in Melbourne into the early evening. And it's a great sight uh, across the precinct of Melbourne Park. John Kane, the People's Court behind Kia, and that's exactly where Grigor Dimitrov is serving to stay in the first set. He's missed a forehand. And this is where the pressure moments turn up because you're, you're on serve, everything's. But if you're ahead of the count, that first point, you grab the first point like this, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, everything spikes. This is what Grigor has been able to do so far through this year as uh, he did in Brisbane and also here he serves been able to get him out of trouble if he's lost that first serve. He's found his first serve, found his spots. That's been impressive. Oh. Two short return of serve, so the point was there to be one for the Bulgarian. And now the tension just rises at 1530. Physically, and I'll tell you what, Dimitrov did some attacking and defending in that rally. It was mainly defending, really, wasn't it? To, he was, Thank you him. just were waiting for the Borges to actually really go after one of his forehands there. And then he was able to turn, courtesy of that ball to hit the tape, turn that back into attack. That was a big out for him. Small moments in tennis matches, aren't there? Just there. Again, Dimitro. The go zone at the net for Grigor and he levels for five all. Five Genzo. Just trading rackets. May have picked up, may have actually walked out with the wrong racket. Got out of a little sticky situation, there's no doubt about that. Credit to Borges to applying the sort of pressure that was. But you want to apply it that time. A lot of balls in play. There's quality hitting. That's good ball striking from there. He just come up and hit a clean cold winner. So he's not phased at the moment by. Scoreline, 
the opponent and the court. And when he's missing, inevitably, he's being aggressive. So it's a good miss. He has not. Is there ever a good one? Not really. Yeah, there are. He's not there wavered are. in. No, no. In no, his no, approach. Exactly. no. You're 100 percent right. There are good misses. slice more and more and, and what he's hoping is to hit that slice so it gets really low 15, and for Borges to actually get around and try and hit it, use his forehand because he's got such an extreme grip that if you don't quite get the impact right or enough brush and acceleration on the ball that's where it ends up at the net the combination of the heavy slice versus that extreme grip can be a tough one Fourteen, thirteen. Engage with his two coaches every time he wins a point. Inevitably, the fist is clenched. Glance across to his team. Oh. backhand huge penetration and it is just a pleasure to watch yes. we could tell that was the change of speed because the whole the crowd making that noise that was Grigor at full flight off the backhand there it is extra bit of zip point well, it's just the courage that he's prepared to look for that ball and then actually play it in the court and come forward he's Borges. wanting to come forward hits the ball quite nicely his his impact on the ball is is really sound ball comes off his racket fast again Borges. it's a really tough hole Borges once again gets his nose in front. He leads 6 5 in the opening set. Six games to position for this young man to be in you know his worst case will be involved in a tie break in the first set Flags around. There's a smattering of 
Bulgarian support. And they're all focused on Kia Arena, where Grigor Dimitrov is serving to send this opening set into a tiebreak. Moves the ball around the court nicely, Borges. It's 30, 15. Gets the spread width at a really good level where you're actually having to do a lot of initial heavy, powerful work to get to the ball. Far away. Both on nine unforced errors in this opening set. Numbers are really, really similar between the two. Service percentage. Job, Grigor, and now sitting in the tiebreak. You generally, you generally favour experience. You generally favour in this in this time, at this time, the bigger server, the one that's got the weapons. You see there, Jamie Delgado. Just he understands the the importance of just his first set, just to sort of settle his man, and you, you feel like he'll then go get into overdrive. And for Borges, it's a there's new territory. Start to work. One, one, zero, Borges. Yeah, he got back in that point. Dimitrov had an opportunity with a forehand, didn't quite hit his location. Then all of a sudden, Borges actually got on the front foot and got very offensive. Nice turnaround. count six apiece and again if you're Borges and you're the teammate you would have gone to work a little bit on that knowing that that serve was probably going to find its way there a lot of technology around now and data to you know if you do do a lot Two, of homework on Dimitrov. your opposition. It's available to you to understand potentially their serving patterns.
Two of them. Right. Hundred and ninety five kilometers second serve. Oh no, that was the first serve. Excuse me. Three two Porsches. They're just not Three, two, quite Porsche. firing with the forehand. That was a big weapon a few nights ago. Still hasn't found his range. Grigor. A couple of big points coming up on serve. There it is again. Three I was just watching Boyd just to see if he would slightly change his returning position there for that. He should be able to feel now on those big points that the ball is tracking into that area on the first serve. There was no movement. Six all, three all. No points against the server in this tie break. Dimitrov mid rally it was the first ball to push him back. See how aggressive Borges was three, in returning Dimitrov. serve. He needs to find his first delivery here. You think? Metro will push really hard for this ball. Yeah, that'd, be, that'd be a little happier. Jamie Delgado, as he watched that point play, Five, used the three, chip, chip backhand that went down the line and then went after his forehand. It's a better constructed point. The mini break now to the 13th seat. Jamie took the hat off. Some people would rather him probably with that hat off. Sure. He's missed again. So two points against the server. And that's that, that shot there was a bit of pressure. A bit of three, forced pressure on yourself. You're 5-3 down. You feel like you've got to force the issue. You've got your forehand. Reset points. Oh. Now, quality second serve, and all yeah. the experience and, and Grand Slam pedigree of Grigor Dimitrov came out of that tie break. 7 3. 7 games to 6. 51 minutes. A pretty solid third round action at Kia Arena. He certainly hasn't produced his best, but it was enough to get past the wily Portuguese. He serves to start the second. Oh. 
be interesting to see on Engine two sides and... of the court now does does Grigor free up and play that was a quite a tense set of tennis didn't not much happen he wasn't ball wasn't coming it wasn't electrifying off his racket does he find more rhythm on the court and, and what happens at the other end is as I thought Borges actually played good standard you know he came out and played with it at a pretty high standard considering the occasion there's Grigor moving his forehand around so there, there's a first sign which we didn't see a lot of in that first set a bit more of the sort of directional hitting Very Machado on the right, main coach of Nuno Borges. Borges, the question is, can you keep the levels of the first set and maintain that type of intensity? And he'll probably need that and a little bit more moving forward. Stretch too much. Again, Forehand on. executed well. Opening service game of the second set negotiated. Second set. And why I say that, David, is because Grigor will free up, and we just saw already in that game there are a couple of forehands that had a little bit more on them. They were also had more direction to them, so Grigor will start to spread his opponent in a different manner now that he's got that one set in the bag. Can you see, please, at the back of the courts? Thank you, ladies. Players still getting used to the more relaxed rules around fans getting in and out of the stadium. Percentage with a lower conversion rate off the first delivery in the opening set for Nuno Borges. Not surprising, really, because he, it's not a major weapon of his. Signs a little shake of the racket too. Number 12 looking to apply some uh, serious pressure in this first service game. Yeah, this is where it was always we we're always going to find out a little bit more about his tennis game and where it's at. Can you keep? Can you turn up and repeat? You've lost the first set. You've played a healthy first set. Can you keep your standards? First sign of real agitation. 
in the bushes. Now facing a couple of break points. That's as fast as serve, 2.02. Break points really well. Letting his uh, team and the fans know he's not going anywhere. In the initial stages of the opening set to just keep applying pressure to the underdog to make the task feel even just greater. Looking for that early breaker serve. Grigor's parents, Jim Tara and Maria, that they came down from Grigor at the start of the Australian campaign and the start of the year and we're in Brisbane and halfway through the men's final, they got out of their chairs while their son's about to win and uh, taxi ride heading to the airport <laughs> to go back home. So they're... Uh, Any chance you, you might just change your flight? So they, they said, no, we're, that's, our, that's when we were booked. <laughs> So they are at home if they're, if they're listening. Hope they're enjoying their son's little journey at the moment here. Great people. I mean, you, you look at someone like Grigor and a lot of the people around the world who have been in front of him or seen him or spoken to him or watched him. Apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Dimitrov. Holding to love. And Dimitrov leads by a set and 2 1. Dimitrov leads two games to one. So the 13th seat in control hasn't to fully let the sparks fly as yet. 7-6, seven, 7-3 seven, in the tie break and games on serve in the second. That's the MCG. Pretty major sporting drama has been played out there. Can you sit please in the corner? First seat available please. Quickly, if possible. Talking of Grigor and his run of winner of his final in Brisbane, he finished the year off strong too, didn't he? Had wins. Thank you. Made the final in Paris, had wins over to surpass Hercats. Medvedev in the second round. That clipped the line. 
50-11. Alcaraz, Shane Hai. So there's, you know, you've got a man that's got a good trajectory going at the moment. Quickly, but not precisely. Pretty simple forehand missed. Compared to his body language uh, early in the match, they're certainly wearing a little bit of stress now. Yeah, he was qu pretty composed at the first set. It, there wasn't too much. There was there was little looks at his team. And it's, and it's different, David. When you're out there, it's you know there's two people, and you're out there, and you so you call what you. You know, they, a lot of players are using their teams a lot for that reassurance. Some are venting towards the team, as we see. And so, if you're if you're a coach, you've, I guess you've got to. There's a few ways I look at it because you've either got to decide as a team that that's going to take place that you're going to wear it. If there's venting, and they, it's going to head towards the coach's box. Oh, he's got that. Oh, Mr. White. Yep. Great point, though. And the other side of that, if you if you haven't worked that out, and that does happen, well then it becomes a little bit that relationship becomes a little bit dysfunctional, and you don't get the best out of yourselves as a combination. Slice. So, Google is probably using the slice more than any yes. any player at the moment. The mixture, the combination, and he gets to he hits it and he gets gets it to bite off the court and stay low. It's a hard ball with that many revolutions to actually to get right on impact if you've got a big Western forehand grip. Oh, that's halfway up the net. Really tight from Borges. And now facing a break Dimitro. point. It's go time for the 13th seed. Is there, David? That's it. For on both sides of the court. Thank you, beautifully. Clipping the line to hold for two all after facing it. A break point, that's zero for three on the break points. Not converted yet. Of course, winning the uh, the first set in the tie break. First time these two guys have met. Dimitrov's victory. 
Brisbane uh, ended the near six-year drought the previous time he won the ATP players finals against David Coffin of uh, Belgium. Not sure if you were coaching Gregor at that time. What year was that? 2017. Please at the back of the courts once again. No. No. Ends up having to stay on that side of the court, so he's already set up for this. Plant his body behind the ball. That's a good generation of pace there. Structured point, played more within himself, didn't look to play away from his comfort zone. serve in that manner at love 30. <laughs> big miss, he had Thank big you. space. He had a better hole opening on the backhand side. Grigor was holding the middle of the court, thinking that ball may go to the forehand side. Huge opportunity. Serve early in the second set. Borges leads 3 2. Borges leads 3 games to 2. Disappointing there. Dimitrov will be very disappointed. Borges has actually regrouped. He's actually has made it. He's tightened his game up. And and got his energy back in the right place and that is just focused on the match court. He waved a little bit. And 
Um, so it's been a good shift from him. is the first to throw a scoring punch in the second set breaking the Dimitrov serve it's only broken until you can hold in the very next game it's exactly the challenge ahead of uh, the world number 69 six years the junior thank you the 13th seed and he serves at 3-2 59 of Dimitrov. 30 love. For that and move on. Not much you could do about that. And he would have gone into this match expecting and knowing that there'll be some shot making that would be out of his control. And you've got to have a good mindset there and just let them all slide when they do turn up. Message back just as quickly as one was sent to him. Oh, he's done a really good job. Under pressure, confirming the break for 4 2. Borges leads four games to two. Yeah, he, did, he has. And he would also see up the other end. There's a bit of uncertainty from Grigor at this stage because he's not playing a game style which has, has got the 13th seed alongside it, that number. Like the main guy on the court if at the moment this is you know you feel there's some comfort and there's been comfort really for the whole match to date there hasn't been a sense of overwhelming push from this man as a big favorite in this match Oh, that's 
a terrific defensive lob. Wow. He's defended really well in this match, no doubt. Yeah, and if you want to hit a lob at home, that's the sort of lob nice and high. So then when it comes down at you, it's coming directly down. It's a tougher ball to hit. Great depth also. Oh. Forty fifteen. 205, good first delivery. First serve percentage has dropped to 47% under the 50 mark for this second set. Again, Dimitrov. Strong finish. And he stays in touching distance of Borges. He's got the break and leads 4 3, Borges second set. Four games to three. Just staying close on the scoreboard, which is what Grigor Dimitrov will do. Just keep things nice and tight. So that was an important game to hold. And he'll just challenge Borges in trying to complete this set of tennis. Moving into the early evening on Saturday night. The fans still very keen to see everything on offer. As we get to the end of the first week, Please. the first major of 2024. And we're witnessing a very interesting contest. Borges up by breaking the second set. style of rally if you're Grigor Dimitrov he's yet to really control the baseline and have his opponent feeling the pressure of his skill package that he has available and it's allowing which is to feel at home on court Playing a good brand of tennis. Oh. Love 13. We've got to remember this. Borges has not been in this environment. He hasn't been at this level where he can. He's within touch of a second week of a major. So these are all new experiences. They're getting a lot of information about where he is. 15, Tennis wise, physical side of things, mentally, how he deals with certain scenarios. So, this is all winning regardless. Oh, that could be a very costly frame. 
15-40. Late on the forehand, and now two break points for Dimitrov. rally just missing some heavy ground strokes great depth from Borges to stay in the rally and 30, we see 40. the margin yeah too placid it really is out that ball and just too placid off the back of the court when you've got break point just didn't apply the heat so all credit to Borges there Fifth break point for the match to Dimitrov. Yes. Fifth saved. With ace number 10, so he's leading Grigor in that count. And you wouldn't have picked that either. So, this, as, I, as I said to you, it's a different version, Dimitrov. So he's creating opportunities for his opponent and he's taking them. Let's first service. And if you're the, op the opposition, you've got to grab the these times of matches. Oh. Yeah. Forehand to soften him up. Court open. And execution. What's well, complete? First First time I've really seen. Dimitrov. We've only couldn't, wouldn't fill a handful yet of seeing shots like this off the forehand where they've been really heavily driven and pushing back the opponent. Zero for six on the break point count. Now beginning to be costly for Grigor Dimitrov. You bounce back. You could be getting. You can get down on yourself. Or Grigor's been able to do. You can see that his body language was good. He immediately, as he missed that, he said, "Okay, come on, keep going." wall on break points isn't he yeah the pass is there had the pass had the opportunity didn't quite yes had an opening that he didn't take and they're they're enjoying this because they're, they're <laughs> well they're enjoying it because they're learning you know they're, they're getting some they're finding out more things First serve closest to the biggest and so far Bortes, for Bortes. Nuno Borges. Hasn't dropped a set yet, has he? Or he's dropped this opening set here, but in his first two matches? No. So they're getting some, the coaching team, they're getting some interesting info. Yeah. Oh, huge forehand. Again. Hammered Bortes. up the line. And a tough hold. He faced break points. Plenty in that game that pushed him away for a 5-3 lead. 
five games to three. So they've already had, you know, the best major experience they've had. You know, there haven't been a lot of wins on the on the regular tour. And now, you know, from a set down, he's been able to respond and, and be leading in the in the second here. So as I said, this is this is outstanding information for them and for this man, Denny, Jamie Delgado. He'll, there's a concern on his face for sure, and there should be. This charge hasn't yet. Even with a set in the bag, in the bag, which is a great position to be in, hasn't yet played to the, level. the levels that he would have that'd be expecting. Yeah, playing a little bit of anger, I think, in this game, but controlled aggression to 40 love. Boy, who asked the question yeah. of Mino Borges? He's got the break, and when he returns, he'll serve for the second set at 5 4. Borges leads 5 games to 4. has plays four break points in his previous service game. And Grigor could not find a way through. Can the Portuguese 26-year-old close out this service to level the match at a set apiece? Fifty love. Good start. Ace number 11. 30 love. He's hunting the multiple semi finals to Grand Slam level. Well, that's a miss hit return. <laughs> you, you take those, don't you? But, and and the, look, that could be a fortune change. The work time will tell, but it's a it was a good serve. He went to the backhand side. He knows he's going to get a chip reply, which allows him then to get first strike on the ball. So the smart serving as he's trying to serve this out. Going to the backhand, you know what you're getting off the return. Accepted as he crunched the, the forehand cross court for two set points. 14 15. Again, smart play. 
when he gets this opportunity, he's hitting it aggressively. He's really going after the ball. That was strange there. I don't know what happened there with a the little bit of breeze. There is a bit of breeze out there. Fully yeah. deserved with an ace. Rogers. And number 12 for the match. Confirms the second six set. Games to four, one set and they brought here six games to four in a match that is uh, just beyond the 90 minute mark. Oh. He hasn't made a statement Love during 15. the match. There's been moments, inflection points, but not enough. No, there hasn't been a hasn't been a group of points which have or a period in the match where it just looked like he he was the man he was the player the big seed so it's a and here's a little moment no, immediately you. for Borges so this is a roll your sleeves up moment and just need to go to work and just get it done and help However, I can. Oh, Lose the backhand and down love forty. Borges has been a backboard in this match. 40. I think it's. I think it's a little uncertain how to play the player's opponent at the moment. You know, just playing him neutrally off the back of the court. There's, doesn't look like he's looking heavily for his forehand. He's, so it's a real concern for their team. It's better going back in behind. You know, the level that was is... 15-14. Delivered against uh, Davidovic Fakina in the second round was a high class display, no doubt. And he brought that to the 13th seed. Let's see if he can continue with the form and the levels throughout uh, this match. That's never easy. It's looking at you that ball. Yeah, yes, you're 14. in control, but it's a nervous moment. It's got you got time, got what he wanted, but then to hit that, that swinging towards the sideline, as you can see, he just, I mean, that's as good as you can hit a tennis ball. It sees the drop serve broken by Borges. And it was that, you know, the, get, the, the shot that Borges played was smart. He played it high into the backhand pocket of, of Grigor. So Grigor had to decide to, to hit a high backhand or slice that ball. It went for the high backhand. So it really tested that side of the court. That was smart. Good thinking. Big shift in this tennis match, doesn't there? did not see this part coming after the first set remember the first set it was 7-6 and then it was love 30 on the board just served there were a couple of back-to-back -back unforced errors and break points in that game that first game of the third of the second set oh. Shifting of side to side, penetration and self-belief. This is a 
Uber, an impressive Lampard. display by Borges. Yeah, definitely. He's just feeling there's comfort on the court. There's no... He's playing the match right now the way he would like to play it. Which means that uh, Dimitrov has to show him something different. What does that difference look like in the, the third set? Well, he needs to take he needs to try and take control of the points he's just this is very neutral type of tennis so he needs to get after the ball a little bit more and a little bit so you play a little bit of higher risk oh, he's made it I read the intentions well bringing uh, Gregor forward but then covering the angle just getting thank you you can see here the first strike of that ball that rally was from Borges taking control when it's there Oh, needs more of that and some. 14, 15. All the shots, all the variety, but Borges are not seeing all of that so far anyway. Again, Borges. It's an easy Your hold balls, following a, a tough break of serve. So he's in control. All the momentum of the Portuguese way. Yeah, it's a, you know, for the Dimitrov camp, it's an extremely concerning time. Their, their man is not playing the tennis that he had two nights ago. He's not playing the tennis that, was, that they saw in Brisbane. Getting controlled and not controlling the play. So at the moment, the, the way they'd like to play the game is not being played at least the quality of tennis on the back at the other end. I mean, look at that. That ball there was there to be hit. His footwork around the ball, getting up to that ball, wasn't there and let it drop and then found the net. The beauty about our game is there's, there's no time clock. So you have time to work your way out of a period. But what he'll need to do is do a lot of that. Self, just good self-positive talk if you're in this position. And also just stay tight on the scoreboard. That's really critical here. You can't, there can't be a blowout on the scoreboard. This game becomes crucial for Borges. He's just got to lock in and just keep doing the same thing. Almost forget the scoreboard and just play what's in front of him. Oh, wow, new balls. But that missed by an absolute mile. And he's going through a tough spell at the moment. Maybe the mind is wandering. The ball's not coming off the racket like it normally does. And it's unusual because you know, you know, the real, the, the real best players they don't have too many days where they f don't feel the ball that well. Oh. So it's it's. You know, so they've got to try and work it out in real time here. Oh. That's and he's got a lot of uncertainty going on at the moment because even that to be rushed off that ball is not normal. 
Yes, it was a good return. He hit it straight back to to Griggle, but it doesn't normally feel that rushed off the ball, so it's got some problems. Yep. They're big ones. A couple more break points. I do say his fans at home would be thinking, why isn't he pushing into the net a little bit more liberally? Well, he can't, he's, you'd like, yeah, you'd like him to exactly, but he's just not feeling it, and he doesn't have that that real that assertive mindset that where he's looking for those opportunities. Oh, good first serve, but what a return! And he was very late on that backhand. For the second time in the third set, the 13th seed has had his service broken. And Borges in control now. Three love. One man calm and composed on court, and it's not the 13th seed. Nuno Borges, the furthest he's ever been in Thank Grand Slam tennis. Level the match at a set apiece, and a double break in the third set has him serving at three love. 50 love. We can hardly keep it in court at the moment, Gregor. Well, the. The crowd here in Kia Arena are stunned. There's no doubt about that. Good quality play at the other end, but just the uh, the level that's been you know, the drop of level here. But to Grigor's credit, he he'll stay he'll stay, and he'll let this try. He'll try and be working. He'll be trying to work this all out. In real time, while he's while he's on court here, he knows his position he's in. He knows he, there he is. He's already starting. It's a return position, a long way back. Just trying to do something Again. a little different. The quickest holes he had out of the match so far. Four love to Borges. I'm sure. Portuguese did not expect to be in this position so quickly in the third set. He would have hoped, but not expected. And it's Dimitrov serving at love four. Love 15. So what you've got to do is your your two breaks down. So let's let's get in, get on the side of court for Grigor. Fifteen all. He needs he needs the most assistance right now. So let's just talk. You know, you've just got to look. Forget the forget the scoreboard. And I've got to get this game on the board. I need to start some form of momentum. That's my way of play. What I what do I want to see on the tennis court? We know he knows he's not feeling it as well as he'd like to turn the tables on what he's feeling out there 
before the end of the set. And if you're board as well, you're you're staying the course. You're not nothing else changes. At least down in this third set, holding in the fifth game, but Borges with a double break leads 4 1. Physical, physically that's been taken out of the players as well because it's been there haven't been those grueling rallies it hasn't it's been quite short and sharp group of unforced errors time Stop the rock, and he's on the board in this third set. The man who lives 11 kilometres north of the city of Porto, and Nuno Borges, serves with a double break and a 4 1 lead. 50 low. He's just hitting his spots with unnerving ease at the moment. Just not what you want if you're the return of it. Wow, is this impressive from... Fourteen, fifteen. So it's virtually David one point at a time scenario and just trying to find a form of rhythm. You've got to actually feel like you're, you're in the match. So, and for Grigor, it's, it's, it's a little, it's different. Very composed service held for 5 1. Because for, in this Four matchup at the moment, five to, one. to get in the match, you want to feel like you're in the rally. So, you know, you'd, you'd say sort of, why don't you throw the ball through the middle of the court, the big areas of the court, and regardless if you win, if you don't win those points, but you feel like you're in the rallies. But Griggle's a shot maker, he likes to make things happen. He's going to have to make things happen because he's down 1 5. And you, when you do like making things happen, you know, you, you play with, you know, the, there's at times you're playing some low percentage shots. And the other part of that is playing up through the middle of the court in safety zones is, is really feeding into Borges at the moment because he feels quite comfortable there. Not better rhythm. Three game points. It's been a, a very healthy first serve percentage, but he still finds himself down a double break. Uh, Service held to love. Borges will serve for a two sets to one advantage.
time. Fans enjoying a bit of a respite in the lawns surrounding Key Arena. Taking in all that's on offer, food and wine. And we'll just, just continues where he left off. Looking to close out this uh, third set. Feel that inside, but on the court, he looks very comfortable. Swashbuckling at Grigor Dimitrov, we know. 13, 15. Two hours of very interesting Grand Slam tennis, this one. Second serve slice back in. Yeah, he's doing, I mean, that's, you need ball in play at the moment. So if he comes over the top of it, at the moment he's not feeling that. That's a safe option. It's not really about the second serve. Really, that it's just in general the whole package. First set point negotiated again, and it's a and two sets to one advantage. Nuno Borges showing why he belongs at this level, Six games to two. and he's pushing for a spot Borges in the second week of the first two slam two. of 24. And his main job is to just focus on this start, the opening, get the first service game on this. On your side, he serves first, so that's a good thing. You're opening the set with your serve. For Borges, around, that's a good sign. For Borges, it's a, a wait the same. It's a play the same style. Don't have to do anything that's different. And, and really, and then to see what comes off the racket of the Bulgaria. But he's he's close. He can. <laughs> Does he look at the finish line? <laughs> well, it's the first time we've seen him look up to his team. That type of concern. There's uh, Jamie Delgado, there, Chris McCormack in the right hat, Grigor's agent. We had a lot of concern in that camp. Let for service. Oh, 
Pushing him around with a little bit more assurity in that game. Good positive response to start the fourth set for Grigor. So job done for, Gr for Grigor. First game, get that under your belt. The, the energy, there'll be energy in the room now supporting him. He's all of a sudden become the underdog. The 13th seed, he's, he's down two sets to one. We need to rally home. We want to see a, we want to see a, a five set match. So if he can actually make some things happen, Beautiful scenes here still, early evening. The energy of the Kia Arena, which does get up, uh, they, they may have part to play in it, but he's got to give them something to, to hang yes. on to. And those fans are desperate for something. So there's an extra course. just to feed off. Yeah, an unforced error. There was one, and you can see Grigor there. Self talk, come on, he's after it. So, first unforced error for Borges. He only had one in the third set, David. and that's exactly what's happened early doors in the fourth set. with his hands off that type of ball that was called hopeful body language of Dimitrov and when Dimitrov flattened out his rallies Borges has been there just to recycle great example there 30 all this emerges as a pretty significant point of the match Resurgence in this full set. A little bit cleaner in the room. With his ball striking there. And there was an emergency about controlling the point off the return. Then this backhand here, he really went after it and actually shot his directional hitting there was spot on. And that gave him this opportunity. This type of tennis I thought we'd see a lot more of, but obviously he's in a battle.
Wow. That's zero for eight now on break points. Gorgeous ahead of the pressure points. One count. And again, just the, the, your inability then just to make your opponent play the volley. Staggering. Oh. No one would be more disappointed than Grigor about that. More of a read on the second serve. Sat on the, the one out wide. He generally does like to go there on some big points. Second serve. He'll he'll roll the dice with the wide serve. So this is better. This is a there's better energy coming out of his body. You can see he looks like a different player. More alert. This is more like how he was with Kokonakis a couple of nights ago. Just more alert from the body. Good serving. What a quality yeah. serve. If a ball just hit, he would feel that there's a, there's a push. That ball down the down the alley. Borges was quality in that point. Gave him the opportunity to control it. Oh, right on top of the net. That's how close he's saying. No, I think he was saying it was, was it going out? The going yeah. sailing long. So it was, he may have hit an out ball, but this is why you've got to make the player play a volley. You've got to, in these scenarios. Thank you. Let's have a look at this look like it was going to be an out ball. Probably was. along the way that wouldn't have helped yeah, he's definitely in a better position so this is good signs for Jamie Delgado sitting there wondering what's happening with his challenge off the first serve it's a big count for him and he faces the third break point in this game Top of the net and said, I'm cooperating. <laughs> wow. <Yes. laughs> what are you laughing at? I don't know, just the bizarre nature of 10 break points and none converted, perhaps. I don't know. <laughs> just don't expect to see oh. that. Back to juice for the fifth time. Oh. 
Armstrong. Haven't seen many of those. That ball is dealt with the low slice of Grigors quite well. Is there any way through this man's serve? He's just finding it. He's just been able to find a quality serve. Yes, yes. out of all those break points, there have been some. There have been some unforced errors from from Grigor, but there, he's been able to also find the right serve, hit some good spots. Oh. It's given him that first shot at the controlling the rally. Was going there, he, he had <laughs> he thought that ball was going, going to his backhand side. He was late, went to lean that way. This is it, it's coming, Jamie. So don't look so concerned. <laughs> Please. Well, he's found a way. Yes. It's taken a while, but he's got that important break and all the momentum early in the fourth set for Grigor Dimitrov. Well, it was just a different, you know, he got through the first game when he served where he was Dimitrov in a little bit of trouble. But still, still, there was a bit of uncertainty. But then when he came around and jumped out this end, he was a bit inspired by the fact he actually did hold the first and the fourth and and his energy it was it's a no-brainer to see when someone's got the right energy going through their body what what changes happen and that was he was more lively as i said he was more alert that alertness of two nights ago is now back on Thank the court you. so and with that there's just more racket head speed Thank on you your ball please. it just it all starts to happen a little bit Big hurdle just climbed. All cleared. But you've got to hold, don't you? Yeah, because the, the depths he, he dropped to level wise in that third set was staggering, weren't they? I, I'm struggling to remember the last time I've, I've seen Grigor play that bad in a set of tennis. Yeah, that was a... And as I said, the beauty of our game, you have time, if you can, if you can stay stable. And understand that you're in that position, but if I can just keep present and look after what's in front of me, which did in the start of the fourth, start to get it together a little bit at the end of the third. And all of a sudden, a quick service game here, and you sit down, you're three love. service break with another hole and three love and he's down two sets to one in this third round match New bones, please. Dimitrov leads three games to love.
time. A stunning sunset uh, the backside of the CBD of Melbourne. It's a lovely wander from Flinders Street Station, Fed Square, along the Yarra to Melbourne Park. All to see. And we've had plenty to see in this third round match because Gregor Dimitrov was on the ropes in the third set. The serve has broken twice, but Thank he's you. come out punching in the fourth. Early break of serve. Wendy's. He's held twice, and now Borges resumes at love three. Fifteen love. Some uh, pretty significant momentum shifts in this one. Yeah, that was the biggest. And realistically, when you look at the whole match, it's sort of been all played on one half of the court, if, if you know what I mean. I mean, Grigor went in a position where he couldn't find the court. You know, nothing was happening at all. So that means unforced errors, and it just didn't couldn't get settled. And Kurt and Borges did a great job of just staying true to his game. Hasn't Don't had to play a game which has unsettled him, taking him out of, you know, has redlined him in the areas where he didn't want to go. So this is an important game. Great first three points. Make that four. Yeah. He's stopped the run of three consecutive games. Plug the leak, and he's got a foot in this fourth set. In a bit of a metronome, the way he's gone about his work, you know, Borges. And he'll know there's, you know, he'll know that yes, there's been a change up the other end of the court, but it's not complete. You know, it's not the complete package up the other end of the court. He's, he's. That was just a snapshot. Maybe it's. He would have probably just stopped and backed off it and would have had time to play a little little backhand. Well played. Good movement too. The boy just to be able to move there and actually have that creative hand. Percentage uh, to dip below 50% at one stage, up to 65 now. The Dimitrov converting 80% of those points. Six unforced errors. Oh, that's a very important hold indeed. He's got the break in the fourth set, leads 4 1. Did 
David Jones, Lindsborg Games to Wilson. That's stunning by any measure for Red Sunset. And speckling the clouds Down. above Melbourne Park. Great time of the day to be witnessing a world class tennis. And we've seen some world class drama play out at Key Arena. 13th seed under threat. Probably play the, definitely the worst set of tennis throughout his. Uh, very positive Australian summer. Saw him win his ninth tournament. Boys just serving at 1 4 in the fourth. Fifty love. You see the, the way the ball come, it comes off the racket. It's got a different energy about it. Oh. That's a quality second serve. 13, 15. Only converting at 50% on the second serve, not as high as uh, Dimitrov's figure. Because the drop shot that he played, as soon as he played it, he knew it wasn't a good drop shot. So he knew he was going to scoot on through. So he then charges to the net. He says, OK, I'll give you a different picture to look. I won't give you any room or space. And he was watching his opponent as well as trying to play that shot. Final effort just knifed to the baseline. Yes. Great stroke to watch, isn't it? In full flight. Slice back in. Well, hasn't he? Throughout the course of the night, 19 aces to Grigor's 11. I wouldn't have picked that at the start of the, the match, David, and you did his match previous round. And that's a must hold and hurdle negotiated by Nuno Borges. And that's all he can do, just do his job from here, is to look after his serve, keep it tight, ask a few questions. He gets a 
couple of it. If he gets an early point on the Dimitrov serve, the first point, it builds a little bit of pressure all of a sudden again. But so we're, we're a long way from the finish line for either of these two players. <laughs> Players are ready. Take your seat, please, at the back of the court. Thank you. Fifty love. Sports that you can play passively without good energy. Maybe Vaughan Bowles. Vaughan Bowles? Chess? Yeah, I don't see too many um, Golf. fist fights in the old no, chess like, game. You know, where you haven't got a, a an aggressive looking mindset to get, get an outcome. But definitely golf is uh, one sport you need to be relatively calm in. The forehand by Dimitrov. I think you missed my point. Where you're on the attack, where you actually, I mean, you can be calm, you need to be calm in this game as well, in our game as well, but just where you're actually going after your shots, you're trying to make things happen. You're being productive with your, with your mentality. Such a different version of athlete you get when you're doing that. Oh. No harm done at that at this juncture when you're 40 love up. A flowing backhand off the racket of Dimitrov. The game face returns, and he's in control of the fourth set. It'll be Borges serving to stay in the set when he returns. Dimitrov leads five games to two. That was pretty. Oh, that was that's gorgeous. It's his favourite. There's no doubt about that. That backhand up the line when he lets it go. So he sits down in a in a comfortable position now because he's now got his he, he's centered he's centered again. So he's he's on the match court, he's between the lines, and he's he's playing to a rhythm that is his rhythm. It was four or five games in the third set. He couldn't keep the ball on the court. Yeah. Well, he just it was definitely definitely was uh, he was disrupted and and he actually found it very hard to regroup there for for a long period of time, but. He did settle, and that's a sign of someone who's time. been in these positions a long time, experienced. They don't panic and think, "Oh, I'm out of the, you know, I'm out." They know there's still work to do, and it's just a process. And, and for Borges, he's continued on and played, you know, really steady levels. So his offering is still the same. He just needs to look after his serve here and throw the balls up the other end, make Grigor serve it out, and then he'll start the fifth. With new balls. Wait, please. Thank you. <laughs> a little swish of the one there. Love 15. Start the game. That was a pretty. You're now seeing the ball very well. Uh, it's a, it's, it's a little warning sign.
fifteen up. Pushed out, he understands the type of shots to play. 13, 15. It's not the most popular sport in Port Portugal, but wow, will they be watching right now? He's, they love their tennis. He's a fan the of the ones most. that does do do play. Frequented a few times, David. In a little spot, very well supported, big crowds. Yeah, we know Esther will under threat in 2025. Let's hope that's not the case. It doesn't pan out that way. Borges holding the 3 5. He's also a fan of the most popular sport in Portugal. And supports FC Porto, big club, and he just lives north of uh, that great city. And now, Grigor Dimitrov has a chance to send this into a fifth. Thank you. First point. Took the game. Took the game to Grigor there. Perfect start for him. Let's first service. forehand there so no racket of speed just tried to massage it back he's giving himself a chance yeah will the doubt Borges. re-emerge at glove 30 for Dimitrov Does he hold and look for the wide one? He's not standing out there. He's sort of standing a bit neutral, more looking for the middle. Second serve got the treatment. And Dimitrov on the back foot. Now facing two break points. Well played. Going after it. He hasn't had any chances really on the Dimitrov serve, has he? Early first game. Breaks back. Again, 
That is huge. It's on parity once more. Dimitrov, Dimitrov five games, games to four, fourth set. Time. You know, Borges has shown repeatedly he belongs at this level. The first time he's been to a third round of a Grand Slam. Came in not winning a match in 2024. But he's produced the goods. First two rounds in straight sets. Thank you. Two sets Wait, to one please. against the 13th seed. Three times semi finalist to Grand Slam level. And now he serves to get things back on track at 4 5. Length for service. Oh. It wasn't the best lob, but the backhand smash still had to be made. 15 now. And the Portuguese fans are loving it. There you go. Blow for blow, two. Aggressive points from either player. 15 all. All started with a return of serve there for Dimitrov. You know what they want. They want a fifth. Please. Serving has been 30, impressive for mine. For the matches, it's 69 per cent borders. First ball's landed. Helps. Ability to hit it, raise out of pressure in this match. Oh, just here, look at that. This is this almost just bounced from the line right here. Again, foot or two. So he's, he's, he's had a great ability to, when he gets on the front foot to penetrate in that back third of the court and keep Grigor off the baseline. This becomes a huge first opening point. Stretching as he went after the second serve and 
immediately placed in the job under pressure. Oh, the energy up the other side is just has grown as well. There's a big come on. Vamos. You can feel a little momentum shift his way. Borges. Slice forehand winner. That is outstanding. It was because his string broke with the backhand, so that ball lands virtually on the line, and then he chips that ball with the look at those strings there. Now to control a ball with that 13, 15. that wider gap in your racket, here it is. I mean that's as good as you could ever possibly hit a slice forehand. At such a massive moment in this set. New racket follows up with a that unplayable. I want you to just put that on your note notepad, <laughs> Bash, because that could have been that could have been the game changer. Yeah. It may go down as a game changer. We're not sure. Have a look at that. There's a couple of broken strings here. It's not just one. Try and control the ball at home with the with a racket like that. Oh. That would have, that would have taken him to 15:30. Oh. Passive return, and that's a crucial service held under enormous pressure. Another momentum shift in this fourth set. There's the walkway from Melbourne Park connecting the Yarra to this uh, great facility. Some of the back courts there. Beyond Garden Square, you move towards Key Arena. And that's where we find Thank you, Nuno Borges serving Nuno. to stay in this fourth set at 5 6. He's felt in this uh, fourth set, Dimitrov. Oh. Good game here. 
not what Dimitrov wanted, there's no doubt about that. And positive vibes for Borges moving into this uh, fourth set breakup. Seven point tie break. Six the scoreboard old, advantage to leading two time. sets to one. Here we go, David. The roller coaster of the tie break. Thank you. The triple come on from Gregor. We'll be looking for the early mini break just to apply that uh, scoreboard pressure on Borges. Well, can he play freely for? Dimitrov. That's the secret. Can he play freely here in this tie break? Because, and also for Borges, I mean, this becomes a, you know, it's a massive tie break in his career. Oh. He's done this all day. Since he came on the court, he was, he was happy to swing freely off his forehand side. serve two negotiated by Borges. Let's see and if Grigor can convert his two. Second serves in the last batch from Dimitrov. And gets the mini break. Yeah. Again, there's there's free hitting versus a bit of nervousness here. So really important for Grigor to find his first serve. He will need a first serve here. He'll need a free point. side moving Dimitrov and now he's got a full head of steam in the breaker. Yeah, that was an outstanding point. You got to take your hat off to him. Just took control of the, the court and went after it. Just heavy ball striking. Good directional hitting. Thank you.
this is a big point. Wow. If it goes back into the... If Grigor gets both these points back, we're, we're back to level. If not, there become, becomes a back, a big gap. Oh, oh wow. He Come gave on. it a rip up the line. Second serve wasn't good enough, but right in the slot for Dimitrov. Oh. Four, three, I mean, it, you said 162 there. Yeah, it was, it was in his slot, but to have the courage to, to hit that ball at 2 4 down. What does that bring? skills of Dimitrov to level things up at four all. Well, he got on the attack early and good serve. Then he was looking for his forehand, hit a couple of big forehands and then the point the, the rally was neutralised by Borges. He was able to neutralise the rally through the backhand side of Dimitrov and from then on it was, it was hang on survive. That's exactly what Grigor's trying to do, survive. Get Thank it to you. a fifth set. Got a great chance. Oh. Hasn't been able to find that first serve enough in the breaker so far. It's a massive moment. It's a first. Everything about today, even about two days ago for Borges was a first. Trying to shake off the tension at 5 all Borges with a second serve. the easy part. The lob was the original part. The one that got him back into the point here. The run from Grigor, well he does that with his eyes closed. But his ability to stay alive. Six, five, Dimitrov. Well it's as good as you get. On a big moment. That was either match point Thank or set you. point. And it looked for all money Thank that you. it was going to be match point. 
couldn't convert either of his two surface points and now Dimitrov with a set point. even gets to the very best the one who's experienced all that pressure against the big three and what is what he's done so well this Australian summary served the big moments found his first serve it hasn't happened tonight but you've got to shake that off you're still you're at six all you've got the serve in your hand you have the ball in your hand and you start procedure here so you still can generate that set point you've got to move that aside for Borges Still a service point to come for Dimitrov. Can he generate another set point? The fans are loving it. Please. a match point to the unheralded Nuno Borges. Seven, six, Borges. Thank you, players are ready. It's the biggest moment in his career by some margin. And he's become the second Portuguese player, man or woman, to reach the round of 16 at a Grand Slam. Nuno Borges. Absolutely stunning. Another seed falls, and another giant killer emerges. Wow. What a moment for this young man. The tennis legend in Portugal is Joey Sosa, and he reached the world high of 28. Fourth round at Wimbledon in 2019, fourth round at the US Open in 2018, but and then and but this man has announced himself, hasn't he, David, in, in Portugal. They already knew about him, but this is his biggest stage. Well, he's yet to win an ATP tournament. <laughs> yeah. And he's into the last 16 at a Grand Slam. I don't think he can believe it. And neither can his team. Was it? Very, very solid, composed performance for the full four sets. Nothing really changed. A lot was happening on this man's side of the court. Well, he's a class act. He's a class act because he'll be shattered, totally shattered with what took place tonight. And the way he embraced Nuno Borges shows why he's such a great statesman of the game. throwing his towels and everything to the fans. A brilliant sportsman is Grigor Dimitrov and a stunned Portuguese 26-year-old. Just trying to work out what his next step is. It'll be to speak to Adam Peacock and he's into the round of 16 and the second week of the Australian Open. Nuno, 
Wow. Um, I'm guessing this is the biggest win of your career, but what just happened? Honestly, I, I, I still can't believe it. Um, what a match, yeah. Like, I never expected to be here in, well, second week of Australian Open. Who would have thought? At what point in that match did you believe that you were going to get through? Because it, you know, it was ebbing and flowing each side. It was maybe in the third set when I got a break on the third set, and then I was like, "Holy crap! I can maybe maybe I can actually win this." And yeah, it wasn't from the start. I mean, it's like uh, it's like people say: take one set at a time, one game at a time, one service game, stay in the game. Uh, kept pushing through, testing my limits, testing his. Uh, you know, I know a tennis match, anything can happen, and I think today was just a, a true example of that. Absolutely. <laughs> you stay so calm throughout. Usually you see tennis, but when a match is like that happening, you, there's a bit of interaction with the coach's box. There was a guy in the pink over there who every time you went to get a towel, it was like his head was about to explode. He was that excited. He was so behind you, but you gave him nothing back. Was, was something sinking in for you, though? I think it's just uh, me staying focused in the match. I try not to get, uh, you know, this crowd, this atmosphere can be, can be pretty overwhelming. So I thank you guys for that, too. In a good way, of course. Uh, makes this match so special. I, I don't think I've ever played in front of so many people. Um, and uh, yeah, what a win. This guy's been a constant support on my side since day one, first match. Uh, I gotta thank my team, obviously, and all the Portuguese people who are out there bringing in the flags. It's been awesome. Last one, mate. Um, I read that you absolutely hate losing. There's, there's disliking losing, you hate losing. Like sometimes you'd go days without talking to people after you lost, like badminton and things like that. But does it go the other way when you win? Do you go berserk when you win and just celebrate it like crazy or you're at a grand slam, you've got to knuckle down? I think tennis gives you confidence with wins but it doesn't really last long. You've got to move on and be ready for the next one and you've got to test yourself every time. Every time you have to prove yourself on court. So yeah, I wouldn't say I take days to get over a loss. I, I think I've gotten better with that but I still, I still struggle with it, yeah. Well mate, it's middle Saturday at the Open so if you do want to party... Right over the back there, you probably heard the music all through the match. Well done. Outstanding performance. Nuno Borges, everyone. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. His first victory over a top 20 player. And as Roger mentioned, he joins Jal Sousa in the history books of Portuguese tennis, a proud sporting nation. Not always have had the best of luck or fortune in Grand Slam tennis, but Borges, an unlikely round of 16 participant but he's fully earned the right to be there. Absolutely, you, you turn up, as he said, te with tennis you don't know, you've got to turn up, and, and, he, and it was interesting that he finally, he thought, when he broke in the third set, that, hang on, I might be able to do this. So, it's, so you can see the mentality behind, um, behind tennis players, and then it, then it grew. He had that self-belief, and he kept going after it, and, uh, you know, there's no doubt about that. Grigor led comfortably in the in the fourth. Looked like he found his tennis, and there was some troubling signs. And uh, he goes to serve for it in the fourth set. Grigor, he'll rue that time. Then he has a match point, and he serves a double fault on match point, which is just uncharacteristic. You wouldn't have thought that was going to take place. So, all credit to him for just being there and being available and, and offering the opportunity. Great result. And an absolute massive moment for the Portuguese fans and, and Portugal itself, the country. I know how... how uh, there, there he is. is. There he is. I'll give you a little bit of love. <laughs> and I just know, you know, in Portugal, how they do love their sporting athletes. Obviously, Cristiano Ronaldo, their biggest star, but this guy will skyrocket in Portugal. The biggest crowd he's ever played in front of. And remember, this is not a big stadium court, so it just shows you the magnitude, the what? opponent, everything he had to overcome, he did with great skill and poise. Yeah, not many players do get to play in these environments. 
He's not sure where to go now. Great scenes of Kia Arena as the victor exits. And here are the numbers. So it's just over three hours, and he served at a really high percentage at 69% for the, and it was very consistent for the for the whole match. Winners and unforced errors, they they pretty much mirror image themselves. So too on the other side. One out of 12 break points, four from seven. So he did a lot of dam damage when he got the break point opportunities. But Grigor really struggled in that department. But. <laughs>